has it going on in this video we're going to be looking at how to download the media file from the internet using react.js previously we have done uh, some videos about cloud function the images rotation and so on but in today's video we're going to be looking at something different how to download a media file from a server using react.js having said that let's get right in so the best thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, I already created a project, as you can see, I'm continuing from our previous, sorry, I am continuing from our previous uh, project we already used the last time. So what I'm going to do is that, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to say, what I'm going to create a new folder. <coughs> I'm going to say, download. And then inside of that folder, I'm going to create a new file called something. You can call it whatever name you want, I just call it control js now in this container.js now we're going to make use of the Say wait right now. Come in here. I say wait.
head to into this side. You should comment out rather than share this. Key of uh, now passing the URL first of all. So uh, comma. Then I say method search the method would be of a type of uh, get then next now see the, the response type response type will be that of a block you can look up the documentation about uh, in axis you see where you can define all these properties let me just quickly show you guys so i'll head over here i open up a new tab and i'll say axis uh, my internet connection has just left so let me quickly connect sorry about that while my internet is still coming on let's continue before i'll come back to that so i'll come back here so what i've told the media type to block what i'll do next now is i'll just close this out like so and i'll say dot when the response has been resolved i'll say res should short for response arrow function we say const we say url is equal to window dot url dot create object url then we say new block or block then instead of a square bracket we say res data like so then we close it out then we say const link is equal to document dot create elements because we need to create the element of the a tag which is the href tag for it to generate or trigger the download then we also come and we say link dot href as you can see is equal to url dot also for them url let me just turn the one here and i'll come and say link dot set attributes say down load sorry say we're passing the title which is the title of the, the file we want to download and we say document dot body that append child or passing that link objects or the link variable for instance all right sorry about that guys i just have to quickly take out uh, take a call so i append the i append uh, the link into the uh document body by using the append child and then I also say link dot click. So I'm not class list click like so. And then I close it out. And then I come and I say catch if there's any error, maybe network error or the media type that was received or the request could not be processed because it does not return a media type of block. So we just alert the error. So we do this. And with that, and that's it. So now let's test it. Uh, we have an error. It says uh, 23. Spelling the semicolon. So let's see. Uh, this goes in here. And that goes there. Let's deploy them. Uh, so okay, I think I just post that. Put this here. Save it. Let's see this time around. It should go well. And everything went perfectly fine. So now, response being processed here, and then all this will trigger. So now, with this, now we can now test it. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to head over to our browser. All right, so like I told you guys, I said I was going to show you uh, the Axios documentation where you can look look this up on the media types it accepts and the response, so you can brush up your knowledge on it. That's where I got this most of I read about all this uh, function. And also from uh, Stack Overflow and the rest. So what I do, I come here, 
I don't click the first link, I click on the second link because that's the link. The first link is for the npm package installer. So I click on the second link and then you have a breakdown. So why this is still loading now? Let's test our application. So I'm going to refresh. Now I'm going to head over to Google and I'm just going to type in image or right, I'll say floral floral images. Images. And then uh, internet is kind of stuck. I'm going to let's see, let's pick this. This is very nice. So I'm going to pick this image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to say right click. And I'm going to say what copy image address. So I'm going to come right into my mobile my web application. I'm going to paste it in. And if I click on the end, as you can see, it's a click on start downloading. And then you can see the name is giving picture that image and if, if i should open this we should have our floral image uh, let's see uh, okay let me check on our axios why this is still loading yeah so here you have it so this is our axios uh, library where we can now read up on a lot of all the functions and the classes now you can go into the mi mi minimal or minimal example and here you have it you see so you can read up and get more knowledge on it. So I think our image is loaded up there. So you see it. So now this is how easy and quick it is to download an image. And you don't have to be redirected from this screen. So if I change this to picture one and I save it, and then I should head back to our browser right here. So I, I can now close this one because you guys will understand. And then I take another image. I say copy image address. I come right here. I say paste. And then I start downloading. So you see the name changes to picture one and if i should open it up we have our image here you have it and then the title is picture one and you see we are not redirected from this page to another page same goes for music file or video file you guys can test it out and see it works for every file so that does it guys thank you for watching my video please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos thank you